bottles and wasted time I got nothing to show for I'm a waste of time Except for trouble Worried mind I got Okay, we're back on the uh, Grand Prix Triumph. Um, this has been a bit of a long-term project, but it's, it's happening quite well now. The motor's all but finished. Um, I've been messing around with the cam timing, dial on the cam timing, dial on the cams in. Um, I fitted it with 3134 cams, which are like out of, a, out of a, an early 650 Bonnie and um, they're supposed to be the best of the production cams um, that you can get for those. So I fitted those cams in and um, after a lot of head scratching, I decided to set the cam timing to Bonneville cam timing. Okay. So we've got um, 72, 55 and 55, 72. So um, and I've managed to achieve that very, very closely by messing around with the gears. And uh, I reckon I've aged about five years trying to do it, but that yeah, doesn't it's matter. Been good work, it? Yeah, been at it for a little while. Been at it for a while, and uh, I've fitted up the carbies. Two brand new Type 6 carbies. They look fantastic, don't they? They do look good, don't they? Um, now, there's a bit of a mystery with this engine, is the manifolds. It's got quite long manifolds. And when I originally took them off the cylinder head, I don't think they'd ever been off before. I think they were on there from day one. They just... Um, well, I did get a message from someone saying that they didn't think they were the right ones, but like you said, they could have been a one-off from the factory or something. Could have been just some sort of an experiment. Yep. Um, with the longer induction, which I sort of tinker with myself on some of the bikes. I go for a bit longer induction tubes. Um, but otherwise, it's going quite well. Uh, it's got a new oil pump on it. Um, it's got um, a new spindle in there. That's a, that's a little plug in there. I've got to remember to take that out. Yeah, um, take that out. Yep. Um, and uh, I've got to fit a magneto to it. I, at this stage, I don't have the correct magneto, but I do have a manual advanced Lucas magneto. It should be a manual advanced BTH yep. as original equipment. But the Lucas one might get us out of trouble until we get a BTH. For well, it. if a BTH one comes to light, I'll buy it and put it on. Yeah. Um, and I'm missing the taco drive as well, but um, there's a guy in New South Wales seems to think he can manufacture them, so he's going to manufacture me one. Which will be really good. Yeah, right. And uh, you put the back wheel in. The back, yeah, since uh, I've finished the back wheel and I've put it in, um, I've got to do a bit of research on how this arm, the the um, brake arm, is anchored because it must have to pivot. Because if you move the wheel backwards and forwards, it's going to have to. See, it's just got a, a hole in it. See? Yes. And there is a matching hole in the frame. But it's got to be able to pivot backwards and forwards if you pull the wheel back, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yep. So I'll, I'll check that out. I'll yep. check that out. I'm not quite sure how that works because I haven't, I haven't seen one before, so I don't know. I've got Good. the front wheel done. Yep, the front wheel is. Can I grab that? Pretty, yep. Front wheels done. It's laced up with. Um, it's got all the correct spokes. Yeah, it's got all correct spokes in it and so on. Um, it's got the fin brake drum. I don't know whether you can see that. You might be able to see the fins on the brake drum. Yeah, we can. Yep. Yeah, it's got the fin brake drum. Um, it's got a, a new rim on as we couldn't find another Dunlop rim. So we've settled for that. And a couple of new tyres from the local motorbike dealer in Bendigo. 
From Penners, yeah. From Penners, yeah. Yeah, Richard Penner. He popped those on for me. He does a good job of fitting tyres. And um, I've known Richard for a long time. Actually, we go right back to 1966. So that's a long, long time. Nice. And he was always a keen motorcycle man. His father owned the Yamaha dealership in Bendigo. Um, so really, <coughs> we need a pair of exhaust pipes and a couple of little short mud guards. Yeah, and, we need uh, some header pipes, don't we? Yeah, we need some header pipes. We can make our own megaphones. Um, that's no problem. Um, but yeah, we need a pair of header pipes, straight I've, ones. I've got to bring back the throttle too. Which yep. I never bring back for some reason. Yep. Yep. So, um, everything's going quite well. That's um, looking fantastic. Yep, yeah, got to build the clutch up and so on, the drive side there, but that's okay. I've got most of the new clutch parts. Um, I'll have to have a dig around and see if I can find some bits to go on the end of the, the crankshaft. I've, I've got the spline that goes on there. Yes. But I need this cush drive sprocket and I'll. Don't ever remember seeing one around here. Yeah, okay. So I'm off to buy a new one. Yeah, well, it wasn't missing much, was it, no, this bike? Which no, was good, no. so. Yeah. you got to expect something considering it's been yeah. in boxes for a long time. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've got a, a new gearbox counter shaft sprocket. Yep. And that was a different size, too, wasn't it? Nice. Even the shaft. I thought it was. But it wasn't. But it was only gummed up with stuff on yeah, the truck to fit it on, so. Um, I've just got to give that a bit more of a clean out so that it will slide yeah, okay. nicely. Yeah, so just a bit daggy on the Yeah, and I've got a yeah. nut, I've got the, the nut to hold that on, and we'll probably need a locking tab for that. Yeah, okay. So it'll be a phone call to the supplier. Um, yeah, look, other than that, it's going pretty well. It's and, going really well. Um, it should, it, it should go ahead in leaps and bounds. Well, I think it has. Like, yeah. some people will take 10 years to get this far. Yeah, don't they? Yep. So you've done a fantastic job as usual. Yeah, yep, all the suspensions, the uh, front suspension's done. Yeah, all, everything's um, new. Is yeah, it yeah, really? It's all new. And the uh, sprung hub, I've had that apart. And as I've said before, some of these race bikes are really low mileage bikes. And um, the sprung hub was like brand new inside. It was, <clears throat> there was no sign of anywhere at all. So I watched a video on how to take the centre out of the sprung hub. <laughs> Dad still thought I was trying to kill him. Yeah, yeah, they say so don't, don't pull them apart. Well, I only took the centre out. I didn't yeah, totally disassemble took the centre out, yeah. Because if you totally disassemble, you've got to have special tools and they can be a bit dangerous, apparently. But it looked like new inside, didn't it? Absolutely brand new. Yeah, yeah, so. Yep. We'll uh, rub that and see what it's like, yep. but we can't see any mm -hmm. issues with it. So. Yep, and uh, the oil tank's been... Uh, suitably repaired and everything so that's all good you get, just gotta get a little bit of work done on the tank yep and then yeah yeah will boozy uh, our preferred welding man and panel beating man he did the oil tank yeah, he's done a nice job a nice job. it had a hole all the way through it didn't yeah, it? it did um do you think that's because of that manifold i don't know i don't know about that I'm not sure yeah uh, so it's one of those modifications yeah. over the years yep well, it's part of the bike now. I believe this bike actually uh, pulled a, a sidecar at one stage, and it has got that lug fitted. Yeah, it has. Yeah, fitted on the frame. Um, but uh, I, I really, I really think Brian Clark told me once that it did have a sidecar on it at one stage. Yeah. Okay. So um, that could be interesting if we could find out a bit more information on that. Yeah, it'd be nice if we get into Bev's photos. Yeah. yeah she might have something out there. Yeah, you never yeah, know. No, you never know. I'll have to have another talk to her. Yeah. She's still going all right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, look, I'm pretty pleased with progress. I've got to get a taco bracket. I've got the taco. I just need a taco bracket, which I'll probably make one myself. And, um, yeah, just need some little short mud guards. And um, they are available, but they're outrageously expensive, I reckon. They're far too dear. Yeah, and look, if we can hang off till March, which I know is a fair way away, that uh, bloke who goes over to Lanelli. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully he'll be there, but he might be at, he'll be at the Benigo swap, mate, won't he? Quite possibly. I think he usually does. I think he's in one of the sheds over there, usually. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go and see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, 
uh, I'm sure if you didn't have what you wanted, you'd be able to roll something up. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We've got to have them so they've got a nice little rolled end on them. Yes. Edge. Um, so it'll you know, just make it look that bit nicer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. But, yeah, no, the, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. And, That's uh, fantastic. Yep, I've just got to finish uh, putting the rocker boxes and that back on properly and uh, tension the head down and, uh, yeah, put the magneto on. I've got the magneto, so... Yeah, it'll be good. Manual advance, Maggie. When we put pictures up of this, like of the manifolds and the, the lug and you know, all that sort of stuff, people will say, oh, it's not right and that, but the problem with this stuff, it evolves over years, doesn't it? Well, it, says, it, it, it's, it is what it is, because when bikes are being raced, you know, invariably they get crashed, and parts get replaced and, and so on, don't they? Well, yeah. like Steve Knight said, he said, this is Stewie, this is bike, but there's not much of it left. Yeah, that's right. Because it had yeah. been blown up, it had been crashed, it had been yeah, yeah, yeah. modified. Yeah, a bit like Paddy's axe, you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but... Um, I would like to find out more about those manifolds because I reckon they're factory manifolds. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm convinced they're factory. The way they've been made. And yeah, they're, they're very nice, aren't they? They're beautifully made. Yeah. They're, they're, they're brass, not an afterthought, are they? No? And they've got a brass tube up the centre of them. Yeah. So yep. they're factory made. It's not something that somebody's just made at home and put on there. No. It's not just a small wafer. No. Which they'd probably normally have, wouldn't they? Yeah. Probably half they actually them. made those in Mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 3, which I didn't know until I did a yeah. study on it. And the Mark 3s had the splayed cylinder head in, instead of um, instead of the straight ports. Yep. Mark 3s, which they only made a couple of, two or three, they had splayed ports. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is a, this is a Mark 2. This one? Yep. Yeah. No, I can't wait to have a ride. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll want to get on it and go for a, a fast ride on it. And I think you're going to give one of the Clark boys a ride on it, right? yeah, at some stage. Tony Clark wants to have a ride on it. Uh, to get it was a his of uncle's photos bike. Yeah, it was his uncle's bike, so I've agreed to that. Um, so that'll probably happen at Broadford or somewhere like that, uh, I'd be imagine. Be at Broadford. Yep. Yeah, it'll be at Broadford. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we love Broadford. It's just a pity they don't have more things on Abilene for us. Oh, I think they do. They have a lot of stuff, but uh, we always seem to find out too late, don't we? Yeah. For some yeah, reason. Yeah, I think yeah, Broadford, it's not too far from here. It's oh, about, it's perfect, isn't it? About an hour and 20 minutes from here. So, um, yeah, and it's a great facility, isn't it? Broadford? Yeah, it really is, mm, yeah. Yeah. But um, I've got the foot peg for this side, but I haven't got the one for the other side, so I'm going to have to modify a, a normal um, roadster one for the other side. Um, but other than that, yeah. yeah very all, good. All's good. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Great job. Right, eh? Same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Let's bring Hagen. <laughs>